today we'll study about advent of europeans in india first we'll study the chronology order of the europeans comes to india first comes portuguese in 1498 then comes dutch in 1605 then britishers in 1608 then danes in 1618 last french comes in 1668 okay there is a question here what were the factors that led to the advent of europeans in india factors there are three main factors here and uh, to remember write it as 3g first one gop to spread their religion next gold to earn profit from the trade they were trading on spices and cotton and silk next third one glory to earn or regain the glory these are the three main factors first one to spread the religion next profit from the trade next to earn the glory these three factors that led to the advent of europeans in india next and the question here what was the necessity of new route okay in 1453 Ottoman Turk occupied the Constantinople. This was the land route. Now it was occupied by the Ottoman Turk. Now there is a necessity to find the new route for Europeans. European required spices, and there was a high demand. So there was a need for the new route in new route to India, and Turk got monopoly over this route. So that's why they wanted to. and there was a necessity of new route next we'll study about portuguese portuguese first comes in 1498 vasco da gama he was a portuguese explorer who comes first to india and he discovered the complete sea route to india from the europe via cape of good hope and he reached to calicut kerala in 1498 okay and he was received by the king zamorin okay next if you want you can note down this pause it and note down next another question who was the first to set foot in india uh, mughals or portuguese portuguese comes in uh, 1498 mughals comes in 1526 when ba- babur captured the delhi and then britishers in 1600 so who comes first portuguese in 1498 next we'll study uh, francis de almeida he was the first governor general of portuguese he had a blue water policy means his vision was to make the portuguese the master of the indian ocean he believed that uh, holding india is only possible if they are powerful at sea otherwise building a fortress on shore will be of no use this was the blue water policy and also it uh, it is also called as cartes system with this blue water policy he wanted to eliminate the arabs in india okay hence in 1505 he was appointed for 3 years with his army in india next we'll study alfonso de albuquerque he captured the goa from bijapur and he was the second governor general of portuguese after the francis de almeida okay alfonso de albuquerque had a three fold scheme okay first one was combating islam next spread the christianity and next third one was marry the indian girls this was a three fold scheme of albuquerque and alfonso mangos are named after him next why goa is the most europeanized state because longest to colonize the state it was portuguese ruled for goa in goa 450 years they ruled for 450 years 
and it was heavily influenced by the by the religion culture food etc and churches unlike anywhere in india so next study about the dutch they are people of netherlands okay they arrived at surat in 1605 their trading depots were surat broch kombe nagapattanam machlipattanam chinsoy patna agra and first factory was machlipattanam dutch lost settlement in indian subcontinent and britishers lost in indonesia so dutch were eliminated from india and they were started concentrating in indonesia next we'll study about english east india company established in 1600 ad at london by the private traders they acquired the charter from the queen elizabeth right to trade in india okay english east india company acquired the rights to trade with east east of cape of cape of good hope so in 1608 english came to india with the captain hawkins was a english commander went to jangir court to seek the permission to trade in surat jangir initially permitted but later took back his permission due to the pressure by portuguese uh, later sir thomas rio received the many privileges by the jangir so next we'll see the trading centers in india surat bombay maslipatnam madras maslipatnam was their first factory okay you can see on map surat bombay maslipatnam madras next we'll study about danes they established the company in 1616 they came to india in 1620s and founded a factory in trankabar but later they shifted to serampur okay then danish factories were sold to britishers in 1845 uh, because they failed to consolidate in india that's why they sold later and they are known for their missionary work that is important there is answer question for you why the english succeed, succeeded against other europeans powers first one the structure and nature of their trading companies they had a board of directors they were elected annually and shareholder then a feudalistic next uh, they had a naval superiority largest advanced weapons they had and uh, industrial revolution started in england in 18th century they had a very good military skill and discipline and they had a stable government this is very important next we'll study about the french they arrived last on indian soil they established their company in 1664 and uh, their first factory at surat in 1668 okay in a incomplete in earlier days they were incomplete in earlier days they had only achievements in uh, settlement of pondicherry and uh, chandernagar at calcutta and later portions of the french east india company of their east india company revived up uh, after the competent dumas and duplex dumas and duplex are the two strong governors of the french okay that's all about thank you